Yes, I got the inkjet. Okay, I got my crab tank. This is a good time to move in. Oh, they got a crab tank. And I got so. Oh, cool. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon 3. This is part two, so if you missed the start of the series, please check that out. Today, we are gonna jump back into Turf War with some new weapons, and also talk about Splatsville, the influences of the city, and just kind of explore a little bit. Hello, hello, what are you in the market for today? He's got some new weapons here. I was thinking about a roller, but maybe something else. I'm pleased to report that my already wide selection has widened further yet. Take a look, I insist. Ah, you're ready to wield the slosher, one of the most technologically advanced weapons. I'm kidding, it's a bucket of ink. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this a little quick instead of reading every single word Sheldon says because I know you guys probably are not as into seeing all the minutia, but we can see the slosher has the triple ink strike, which is another returning special from Splatoon 1. They're actually pencils this time with little pencil sharpeners. The splat dualies! Oh, they've got the crab tank. I want that special. It's so cool. And it also has the suction bomb. So we can use the dodge roll, of course, if you've never seen the dualies from Splatoon 2. And that, yeah, they overlap when you do that dodge roll. You realize you have the crab tank. All hail crab tank. He is uh, kind of, is he related to crabs? I don't think, uh, horseshoe crabs are actually crabs, technically. And then we have the blaster that blasts hard. It's got the auto bomb, and we got a bunch of big bubbler weapons, I've noticed. And the range isn't great but then you can use that big bubbler. I've seen those a lot so far in battle. Let's do the dualies. I was never that great with them. I liked the dually sculptures to get a bit more range, but I'm thinking that crab tank is gonna make up for some of the range. Suction bomb, not my favorite sub weapon, but you know, I'm gonna give it the old try here because that's what we're stuck with. A lot of these only have the one set of you know, weapon and sub and special until we get the other ones. But yeah, with the dualies, I gotta remember, probably shouldn't use my sub weapon that much, even though I'm used to throwing bombs in because then you get a lot more out of the dodge roll. I gotta get good at rolling and readjusting. Get that ink going while we are waiting. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe we can show the crab tank, but we will show that in battle here, rather. And whoop, we are headed to Eeltail Alley. This is another new stage. Played this a bit in the Splatfest. We got a brush on our side and a junior. I'm a little worried against some, oh man, somebody already has the uh, Nautilus, it looks like. Which is one of the last weapons that you unlock. Oh, there's pigeons everywhere. Reminds me of the reef a little bit. Yeah, I don't know the layout of this map very well, but of course I can hit X to look at that. Oops, let's go ahead and dodge roll out of here. I think the stamper has those burst bombs. I'm trying to be careful about that. Ooh, somebody took down two of them. Maybe we can push in here. Oh, there's an ink rail, it looks like. Or was that an angle shooter? Couldn't really tell. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> he was waiting for me. Ah, they got, yeah, look at that gear. They've been playing a little bit longer than I have here. I have my crab tank. Oh no! <laughs> well, Eeltail Alley is on top of water, as we have learned. So let's go ahead and jump in here. This is, I wanted to talk a bit about uh, Splatsville and the influence, and I think Eeltail Alley is kind of showing some of that as well. Oh, that's uninkable. I don't have to remember that. Oh, they got a crab tank there. I'm feeling a little vulnerable. Someone right there. I think they saw me. Ooh. Get him. Here we go. Ah, I tried to dodge roll out of there, but the whole team was waiting for me. Yeah, we were in trouble. Uh, so I was going to say the apartments here kind of remind me of Splatsville proper. I'm not going to fall off this time. Or at least I will do my best not to. But the... Uh, Big influence with, oh, oh, I gotta get out of here. With Splatsville is Geelong Walled City, if you've ever, this, 
I will get back to that after I finish up using my crab tank here. There we go. So you can kind of fire off blasts as well as repeated shots of a rapid fire weapon. Oh, almost got him. There we go. I had a little support there to help finish him off. I think we can push in. Just gotta be careful here and not overstay my welcome. Oh no. The other duly got me the Glugas. But yeah, Julong Walled City is very famous for its influence on cyberpunk aesthetic and stuff, but one thing I really like about Splatsville is that it kind of shows more of the community aspect of that type of area and not as much. Oh, I'm out of here and I'm dead. <laughs> they really just destroyed us there. Yeah, that was a rough first match. I feel like that team is either way more coordinated or just uh, our team had a little trouble. We had a junior on our side, so of course. But yeah, there is this sense of uh, building up sort of a ramshackled setting of a city instead of having not as much planning, but a lot more freedom and a more tight-knit community that I think we are getting from Splatsville as well. If you look at the names too, I was gonna say Inkopolis has a fancier, it's Inkopolis, it's more tidy. Splatsville implies you might get splatted when you're going around there. So maybe it's a little more dangerous, but maybe it's cooler and more trendy. Let's, uh, we'll go ahead and stop. And then maybe we can get a different group. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't matter because you'll get, you know, who you're, whoever you're going to get anyways, but let's try again with the duallys. I want to get another shot at my crab tank. But yeah, and I was going to say too, uh, Inkopolis in Japanese is Haikara, or High Collar, which is like a, a style that more emphasizes a orderly sort of Western fashion influence, whereas Splatsville in Japanese is called Bankara, which is more of a rough rejection of that sort of thing. It's a little bit more hodgepodge and chaotic, but that's the feel. It's got that freedom. Oh, we got another junior. Maybe they just like the junior. And then the stamper and octobra. Oh, <laughs> everyone, that's like trying to pass someone in a narrow hallway. Everyone's just like, oh, 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 oh. And you both end up going to the same spot and running into each other. That little dance we all know and love. I'm gonna be careful with that stamper, because they seem like their range is crazy. Okay, we a bomb. This is a bad spot to be, because we are all grouped up here. Oh, crush. Okay. I'm gonna be careful with my low ink. Someone's trying to go around, it looks like. I got my crab tank. This is a good time to move in. Oh, they got a crab tank. And I got so. Oh, cool. All right. I'm gonna try to, there we go. So yeah, there's multiple types of shots with the crab tank, but you can't do, oh, he threw the, <laughs> I saw that ultra stamp and I just didn't think they were gonna have it by the time they got up to me, but of course they did. Um, but yeah, the crab tank only has 500 HP, so you saw I kinda used my crab tank to take down the enemy one, and uh, some massive damage, sorry. Had to say it. Okay. I didn't have to, but my brain worms have told me. Oh, is there a brush around here? Thought I saw them. Trying to get some of this, but also this bridge in the middle is very central to getting Eel Tail under control. Is the feeling. Okay. Oh, someone's jumping to me. I gotta try to protect him. There is a bubbler there, too. Trying to know how to uh, put yourself in the right spot at the right time. Getting those big bubblers going and actually making good use of them. Ah, I thought I would dodge rolled away in time, but the brush got me. And I even had my crab. Didn't get to use it. I gotta be careful with some of these quick jump-ins, because you can launch yourself off the side. Okay. And the booyah. Trying to watch whoever's around. They're pushing in. The booyah bomb helped. Oh, they're in danger. They lost someone, too. I want to get that spot over there. Somebody disconnected on their side. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. 
Ah, uh, whoa, my crab. <laughs> yeah, so they can still get you, as I was saying. 500 HP. The crab is not invincible. It is not the Kraken, by far. I'm hoping we can still do this, though. Let's see, we got some turf over here. Trying to cover what I can get in the corners and things. Oh, booyah, one more time. Yeah, I think they are just having a rough time because they lost one of their players, but I'll take it. I'm low level, I'm getting the rust off. So I think I'm, uh, yeah, I think that's our Booyah Bomb over by Lil Judd. Jeez. Lil Judd looking extra kind of fluffy and he's getting a little, he's more brown than, than Judd. He's almost seemingly diverging more than who he's cloned from. So there's a strange uh, mystery going on there that hopefully we will learn more about. Okay. Did we rank up or uh, level up rather? We're getting close. Maybe one more good match. Let's keep going. That seemed like a decent team. Yeah, and maybe we'll get some of the other people that were uh, so good on the other team. Even though they, yeah, they lost the one. I don't know if we would have done as well if we hadn't had one down. Gotta get better at doing this dodge roll and keeping my reticle in place. And remember how short the dualies are because they, they just don't have a great range. The weapon tickets, you saw I used one before, they are uh, in place of spending money on stuff, so you can focus all of that on gear and giving it to merch, <laughs> and uh, the uh, Hotlantis I mentioned before where you can do all your locker customization and stuff, that's, uh, that's a big thing for people in this, to have that, ooh, that was so fast, booyah bomb. Ooh, this is a nice orange. This is kind of like Halloween-y looking. I'm gonna try my crab tank here. I do have to be careful because that sniper. I think I'm kind of armored when I'm rolling. Oh, I helped, maybe. My one suction bomb was supposed to be a crab blast. That didn't always work out, of course. Oh. Let me get in here. I'm gonna help Booyah. Oh, they got a shield! Ah! <laughs> I was like, I got him, I got him! They were right in my targeting reticle, and then the big bubbler, I gotta remember about that. Nope, don't fall off! Okay. We got a brush to help really get a lot of this turf, but we gotta make sure spawn is good. We have some glaring holes here. What do they have? I don't know all the specials yet fully. Here we go, I got someone. I roll in. Oh, hitting something over there. Oh, there we go. All right, I managed to go one on one with a stamper. Get him. Throw that behind. Watch out for that ink. Back. It's another special. Oh, oh, oh. That's the problem with the suction bomb. I find as I accidentally hit, hit it on a wall. The booyah bomb. I, I kind of didn't play much of Splatoon 2 after that was added. So I wasn't sure if that was like you have to spam booyah or you just hit it once and that's enough. Get out of here! <laughs> Try to support these guys, but I don't have the uh, best range. There's a stamper coming behind us. Let's see him over there. Is that sniper still over somewhere? <laughs> okay, get the crab going. Once we're ready, got my crab. Maybe I'll go up top. Get this over here, and then I can really try to help out. Here we go. My bombs aren't doing enough. I'm surprised with how strong the crab seems. That was not much damage. Oh, get him! I think we got this one. I feel a lot better about that one than the last time. I actually got some good splats, I feel like. Yeah, the crab at least was 
pestering them with its weird little crap spits, but I don't know, that one's cool in concept, but I don't know how useful it is in, uh, in practicality, especially because you are a huge target and you can still get splatted with, uh, basically only has the life of five Inklings, 500 HP, <laughs> or Octolings. Did that put us over the edge? We are so close. Let's do one more. Can I change my weapon while I'm here? Hmm, I think we're already locked in, but that's fine. I want to get used to using weapons that I did not use as much in the last couple games. I mentioned before Octo Brush, Ink Brush, the brushes were my favorite type of weapon, and uh, I feel like I want to go out of my comfort zone a little more this time and get better, especially some of the shooter weapons that are really good, but you gotta aim a little better. We got two brushes, so I'm covered. Brushes on my side. And they got a bunch of dualies over there. Okay. This stage, it feels like the spawn is so huge to try to ink all of this when you first start. If I can manage to get my crab quickly, that would be amazing. It's also weird to not see tacticoolers as much, because I felt like there were so many tacticoolers. Do they have long range? Yeah, they have a heavy, heavy splat length. I'm gonna try to. Oh! Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna try to get around the back. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I activated my crab, but it was too late! Ah! I got a little. A little too big for my britches there. I almost forgot what color I was, and then I was like, no, our spawn is completely painted. No. I'm this sort of lime color here. Uh oh. What's going on, guys? You need help? So close to getting my crab. Where are they? Ah! <laughs> I did not see the Booyah Bomb behind me. I'm learning a lot about specials, especially the old ones that uh, I never really got to see much. Like the Ultra Stamp and the... Uh, oh. That's one of the longer range dualies I gotta deal with. There we go. Okay. Somebody's up top. Careful here. See him going around. Man, yeah, it's pretty tough to actually get some of this. I gotta look out. That's a wave breaker, so that's that'll track you if you manage to accidentally get hit by it. And you can see I'm being tracked now, and it does damage. So that's really useful in Salmon Run, I've heard, because you can use that to revive your buddies. I'm gonna try to play sneaky here. Oop, that didn't work. Not sneaky enough. Where are they? Whoop! <laughs> that sprinkler out of there. Someone's going around that way. Two of them. Ah! <laughs> can only hope I hit one of them. Nope. Yeah, this is close, and they have their whole team, and we only have two. We gotta get back in there. Go, 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 go. Oh. Ah! Okay, I got him. <laughs> I managed to splat the guy who got me before. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, though, unfortunately. But it might put us over into level four, where we can actually get gear. Oh, this is looking pretty. Mixed up. Oh, we did it! Nice! Somebody moved into their base, luckily. Oh, look at those shoes! I want those! Okay. Looking pretty cool spinning those dualies, even though I'm still getting used to them. But now, the world is our oyster, because level 4 is going to unlock some pretty good new stuff, including gear! I'm happy my uh, cephalopods, my headphones, have some pretty good uh, ink recovery though, as much as I use those bombs. Pardon the interruption, but we're picking up a pretty fresh vibe from you lately. Did you know that there are a few shops around here with gear that can help you out? I'm talking clothes, shoes, headgear, and even new weapons, and a general store too. Check them out and tell them this disembodied voice sent ya. 
I think that's this little guy over here who we can't actually shoot. Let's talk to him. Meow. Make sure you visit Ammo Knights after you level up. They might have new stuff in stock. Meow. Leveling up will earn you Sheldon licenses, which will let you buy even more weapons. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Let's get out of here and head down to the shops. Pick which weapon we're going to go with because level four... Hmm. Well, we have the licenses, but I also have so much gold. We can just teleport here using the menu as much as I like walking around the city. For as much as it's supposed to be a little ramshackle, it feels way bigger and more bustling than Inkopolis ever did. Hello, hello, oh, my Octo Brush. And please report that my already wide selection is widened further yet. We got the heavy splatling, so that's got the sprinkler and the wave breaker that we saw before. I'm gonna go ahead and do the speed up thing. Octo Brush has the zip caster, which is a new cool Spider Man type thing. The tri slinger. That one is maybe what I'm gonna go with. I use that in the Splatfest quite a bit. It's a little more suited for ranked mode, so maybe we'll try one of those. So it's got Killer Whale, Mist. And if you could read what he said, it shoots out these little explosives, unlike the other version we're gonna get later on. The Reflux. There it was, at level 10 it looks like. Okay, let's go see what clothes we can get. Starting with headgear, even though I think I'm the happiest with the headgear that I have. Yo, welcome to Not Couture. Whoa, you're pretty fresh, huh? So we sell stuff that you wear on your head, you know, like hats and uh, other head-related gear. Oh, but they're not just regular hats. I always forget this part. They've got, like, gear abilities. I think those help you in battle. Don't know too much, though. I just work here. Probably push the ER at some point. Check it out. So, yeah, we can get a good look at what the abilities do, if you don't already know. Hmm, yeah, these are cool. You can try them on too, but I think I'm gonna go with what I got here. He's a Nautilus, as you could probably guess by Gnarly Eddie, which is also a cephalopod, so he's kind of closely related to my little guy. Ah, oh, you're here, good, welcome to Man of Wardrobe. I see that you're a fresh and fashionable person, so I'll allow you to shop here. However, you must respect the merchandise. Fiddly hands are a lifetime ban. Now then, surely you'll have gear abilities just that can help you fight and win battles. Wish to attain the same level of knowledge as me, then press ZL and prepare to learn. What do we got here? Oh, respawn to Punisher. Hmm, Intensify Action is a new ability that boosts your squid rolls and your squid surges and also drop off from firing when you're jumping is cut down. I love that, yeah, this Octo Squid Tandem T representing the unification of Octolines and Squids. What am I, I'm currently wearing one, I think with like special saver, I can't remember. Come in, come in, welcome to Crush Station. Oh, you are looking fresh today, but you could look even fresher with something new on your feet. Am I right? Of course I am. You know about gear abilities, right? They make the freshest kicks even fresher. So you can play as good as you look, maybe even better. Nah, anyway, press the L if you want to hear more about them. Or not, nah, if you just want to keep shopping. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, so we got some returning zombie high horses, red high horses. The Hunter High Tops were one of my favorites from the old games. Hmm. I might buy a couple of these, even if I'm not going to equip all of them, because I do like some of these abilities. So I'm going to get the red high horses, put those on. Then I can get my Ink Saver main. And uh, I'll leave the zombies there. That's okay. I don't know about these dad foot sandals. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, oh, hey, welcome to Hot Lantis. I don't really work here, but you can shop around and I'll sell you stuff. Don't ask me what to do with any of it. Put it in your locker, I guess. It's all pretty random, you'll see. Uh, your locker's in the locker room, duh. You can go look at it later. If there's anything in there, I guess it's yours by default. Uh, and I am supposed to give you one of these. It's a catalog. Nice, so this is kind of like a battle pass, but it's, it's free. We can earn catalog points in battle or on the job to get our hands on incredible items. Do you do battles and work shifts at Grizzco and stuff? I guess you get catalog points for doing things like that. And then every time your catalog levels up, goes up, you get a prize. And I get to dig through all this stuff to find it and give it to you. Yay. Anyway, let's get the first one out of the way right now. Your very first prize, cherish it. Oh, we got a new splash tag banner. There we go. Okay, I'll let you get back to shopping or whatever. What do we got? Nostalgia Power Magazine. That's Nintendo Power, basically. Or, uh, ooh, 
Shark Tooth Comics. There's so much good stuff. Hikata Walker. That's the uh, the magazine the Octolines used to dream about. Inkopolis. But Sea Snail Man is pretty sweet. He is expensive though. Jeez. And some stickers here. Oh, that's a good one if you're uh, a rookie. That is uh, the one I was talking about in the first episode. Cool, thanks. I hope your locker is looking really fresh or something. I kind of want, I'll just get Haikata Walker. And then, I mentioned before, Haikata is like high co collar or also has a pun of Ika for squid and color or call, yeah. It's a, it's a pun for ink color and high collar for the fashion. I don't know if I need this Nintendo power. I'm gonna save my money. This guy's too expensive for me anymore. Okay, we're gonna get to our lockers next time we go around the city, I think. Let's go to our gear, though. I think we just push plus. I love that new Tori. Yeah, so we got these. That has special saver. This is the uh, respawn, quick respawn and ink resist up. I think I'm gonna, I'll stick with the quick respawn for now until I can find a better shirt, but I'm happy with getting Saber main. Let's do one last battle here, and I'm gonna see what's what's going on in ranked mode. I haven't checked the stages yet, but I'm gonna try to do one. Ooh, looks like you got something you can use to spiff up your splash tag. Remember, you can change up your splash tag anytime at the tr lobby terminal. You can add, change the background banner, add badges, show off a fun title. I'll worry about that later for now. Look at this, this is my tri-stringer. I can charge up, make some explosives. Let's see. We have Rainmaker and, oh, Splat Zones would be pretty good. And Haggle, I'd love to get Hagglefish Market. I have not played on that stage yet. And Splat Zones seems like a really good stage or, uh, or mode for this weapon because we got the ink, uh, Toxic Mist here to mess up the zone. The killer whale will help with that. If you want to really ink better with this, you can kind of do this where you just like look up a little bit and, and get it, but here's the killer whale 5.1 if you haven't seen it yet. Glass and then you can kind of travel around with it and it'll move sometimes with you. You really got to kind of jump and then when you're falling, get a good shot with this thing. Oh. We'll worry about that in battle. This is a very finicky weapon. It's kind of charger-like, has some explosives. Oh, we're going to the Art Academy. Maybe we'll try to do one more. This is my first Anarchy battle, and I'm under-leveled because I got just thrown in here. Oh, they got a cool helmet from an amiibo. Let's try our best. Whoop. Let's see how we do. Throw that in. We get this going. There we go. I got the one guy. Oh nope, I did not. Uh, I'm in trouble here. I'm like one of the only people alive. It seems like. <laughs> okay. Let's get that going. My guys are getting destroyed here. Oh, they got a crab tank. That's what's happening. Ah, and I got splatted around the corner by the crab tank. This is going to be a quick one, it seems like. They're holding that down. Somebody's already beaten single player by the looks of it because they got that hero shot. Oh, thank you. And we get the zone going. Mm. Flat someone. Oh, nope. <laughs> well, I got somebody. But is it too little too late? We really have to get the zone, and that is... Oh, they lost control at the last second. This is a rough first one. Oh, we're in control. Can we quickly get back in here and regain control? It's gonna be tough. Try to squid surge up here. Oh, ah, I was in the middle of falling, <laughs> and they got me. I didn't even get my tactic cooler. We can bring this back, because they got a huge penalty for losing it, so it's possible that we could do this. I'm thinking it is very 
possible. Gotta be careful. Oh, nope. They're right on top of me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they really just pushed in there. Okay, we got a penalty now. They still have a huge lead. It's possible we could bring it back, but they got me hoping before. Oh, Hector Cooler. Thank you. Got me a drink. Let's see if we can lock on there. Oh, that's a Booyah Bomb. Okay. Come on! <laughs> oh! Get him! Okay. Oh, we got an ink back. Get that tacticaler. Don't let him. I should not have jumped up there against the crab tank. I don't know why. I think I was <laughs> feeling like it wasn't as strong as I thought from before, but it depends on who uses it, of course. Okay. Send my killer whale across. Yeah, this is rough. Especially because I don't have an inking sub weapon. Look at that. Having a rough time here. Yeah, I think that's it. We at least had a push and brought it back slightly. I would like to try to get a Ooh, match. They did, they did get knockout on us. <laughs> we got some points though. I'd like to get a match on Hagglefish Market so I can see that real quick, and then we'll we'll finish up here. Thank you guys for joining in. Look at these guys. Their fashions all over the place, but their teamwork is so in sync. I got it. I got some good stuff. I did uh, some inking, and we only lost a little bit of rank. So I, I got bumped up into B minus in ranked because I'm not gonna stick with that team. Maybe uh, because I had played Splatoon 2, so they gave me, you know, a uh, early access to Anarchy Battles, like most people that have come from the second game to this one. Let's give it another shot. See if we can get a group going. I have to remember, if I want a wider shot, I do have to not let it charge as much. And I can still get the explosives from the first charge, but you don't get them as compact. The longer you charge, the more compact your shots get. And then the thing I was saying is you want to, while you're falling, try to hit. It's a little tough to actually get all three of them in one spot sometimes they'll just yeah fan out so you gotta wait till you're kind of going down a little bit more than you're going up but that my instinct is to fire when I'm on the way up there we go okay got one <laughs> one splat on the dummies before we go in not the best sign oh no we're back to ink blot we'll do it until we get hagglefish this will be a bonus ep Okay, I feel better about this team. What are we going against? Oh, Blah Blobber. I think. I've never actually played the Blah Blobber or against the Blah Blobber, so I remember that was a data mined weapon and it took a really long time before it actually came to pass. Here we go, I got somebody. Let's see if we can get some more ink going. Oops, someone's over here. Ah, I didn't even see. They were sneaking around. Who was that? That's the splat roller. I really thought we had the zone pretty well covered, so I was like not paying attention to my flanks. But that showed me. Let's be careful. There's someone coming over there. We can get them. There we go. Got one of them. I don't know if that was the one I wanted to get. Gotta keep this zone. 
Get him. There we go. Oh, they got a ink storm. Worst, worst thing to deal with when you're trying to hold down a splat zone. Yes, I got the ink jet. Okay, I feel good about myself. The ink jet was mid-air and I managed to still get it. Okay, if anyone wants to try to attack my buddy, got a killer whale for him. Sometimes I forget to cover my friends as they're jumping in. Oh, so close. Okay, we got him. Yeah, the stringer, I feel like if, the more I practice with it, the more I can actually obviously get better at it, but I feel like I could potentially... Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> they got mad at me. Ah, I still got him again. <laughs> it felt like they were going after me <laughs> after I got them, but I got my revenge. Okay. Feeling better about this one, but they still have an honest shot at this, of course. Well, let's look out for that roller. Got a couple guys over here, it looks like. Okay. We got, this is Splatoon 1 colors. So nostalgic. Oh, Inkzuka. Be careful. Trizuka, rather. I want to just call it the Inkzuka. Try to protect my buddy here. Okay. Oh, there they are again. Flying around. Where'd they go? Got it. Okay. Splat it. Sometimes I get these old, these uh, splats well after the fact because of my explosions. And there we go. I think we got a knockout. All right. I would like to try to get one on Hagglefish Market if we can do it here. Because I have not seen that stage yet, really. I'm happy we brought that back and I got a little more practice with the stringer. Very happy I, I just blasted the inkjet out of the sky. Because that's uh, something I would struggle to do with a normal charger weapon. But for some reason, I don't know, the stringer, it seems like it's uh, a little more my forte. Nice, I was inking that zone. And we went up eight points. Not too shabby, gonna take a while to rank up it looks like. But we did level up our catalog. And we got a new ability. Here we go, not bad to have that resistance. Okay, we managed to get Hagglefish Market. Let's see it. We're gonna finish up the video with this one. Win or lose. Oh, we got two Tacticoolers on our side <laughs> against uh, a Blob Lobber. Couple of Splatlings. We'll see how we do. Let's check this out. Okay, Splat Zone in the center. Easy enough. I try to take this spot. Oh my gosh, that's the Blob Lobber, I'm guessing. I've never faced one or used one before. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there's boxes. Okay, that was scaring me, but that was... That's just how it goes. Okay. Can we... Get some of this going? Oh, they lost control. They're kind of staying back. Oh, I see some turf over there. Gotta be careful now. They're pushing in a little. Both kind of hanging back. Can I get the... Ultra stamp? Or are they gonna go all the way over there? be a jerk. Oh, that's a sprinkler. That's what happened. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, there's a tactic cooler, but it's in a horrible spot. <laughs> I guess if they were, if we were hanging out over there, they were at least, then it's not that bad of a spot, but. Oh, another one. Give me that. Yum, 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 yum. Need that en energy juice. Uh-oh, uh-oh doing their sprinkler on the side constantly to get ink. I keep thinking they're moving in, but it's their blob blobber that is doing stuff. But yeah, we can use this as a shield. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I feel like they have some more oppressive weapons than we, we do, but I'm trying my best here. Neither team is really pushing that far over, though. Surprisingly. 
Oh, give me that. Give me my drink. Delicious. Ah, hopefully I'll respawn immediately. I'm not sure. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's the power of the tactic cooler. I landed on an umbrella, but that's okay. Oh, we got an ink rail. It's boxes. I didn't need to shoot those, but it was fun. Oh, I got my, ah, the tactic cooler saved my special too. Which is definitely nice. Another one of these. Bloblobber's making it really annoying to have all of the turf behind us get really inked. Let me get some of this going. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can I get him? There we go. I don't know if I can get to the tactic cooler in time before it goes away. Give me that soda. Uh-oh. That was a try. Oop. Did we do it? Or did they have it? I don't know what happened there. Did we run out of time, or did... I couldn't really keep track of who kept it more. Oh, they knocked us out. Man, I thought we were doing better. That's all right. I think that wasn't too bad. Got to see a lot of specials. Got to see a lot of mayhem. I think we can end there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time, I think we're going to check out the lockers and uh, some of the other things going on around Splatsville. I was pretty good at assisting and whatnot, so I'm not too sad about that. And I'll see you next time for more Splatoon 3. Goodbye!